trains could hold 20 carloads of limestone. Animals are no longer hauled by train. Instead, trucks now carry this commodity to market. The pens were dismantled in 1960. An interesting blue law from the late 1890s to early 1900s stated that freight trains could not operate on Sundays unless animals needed to be moved. This was during a time when all businesses were closed and the sale of items was prohibited on Sundays. Workers on the railroad, however, would pick up a single mule on Sundays and carry it on the train with them, thereby technically hauling an animal and not breaking the law. Past the stock pens were the transfer sheds, located just at the point where we will end this part of the ride. Up to 350 freight cars a day could have their freight transferred from truck to rail car, helping local merchants who did not have their own railroad spur to send and receive goods. These sheds were rated the largest north of Atlanta because of the amount of freight handled in a given year. The transfer sheds, along with the stock pens, were torn down in the 1960s.